Oh, the seed's kind of bad. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Thanks for joining. Uh, this is Ismorta, and this evening I'm going to come at you with some Heroes of the Storm, one of my favorite Blizz games. Um, so this evening I'm going to change it up, so instead of going through um, he the heroes that are my faves and how they play, now I'm just going to pick some of my favorites that I really want to get better at and be more professional with and be playing those. So I think this evening what I'm going to start with is uh, Diablo and work and, and just focus on playing so I can start to tease out and focus on strategies to work with. Um, so that is the plan. Probably just Diablo. I may switch up another character, but, but definitely start with Diablo. I may stick with Diablo. Um, before I get started, just let me check the Twitch feed and be right with you. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Right, sounds good. So you know the routine, guys. As usual, um, I will respond to chat if you're speaking in there. I just can't do it while I'm in a game, so I'll check in between games. And again, like since this isn't a tutorial on what heroes are and how they play and strategies, I'm just playing the game trying to tease out the most effective way for me just to play a certain role of a certain hero. Um, there's not going to be any of this tutorial shit, so I'm just beginning to play and probably just talk as I'm going. Cool, let's do it. And Diablo is actually probably my favorite skin ever right now, so it's a fun character to play with. You think you see right here. Cool. So let me just check again how I want to spec this bad boy. Bad girl, I should say. She's a bad girl, but she's good, a good girl, also. Hey, what's up, John? Yo, yo. Um, this first game I'll be partying up with uh, my bro, uh, John. So uh, let's see if we can't apply the wrecking ball to AI face. All right. So let's see I'm going to spec. If I recall, it was everything Shadow and Lightning Breath. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Basically what I did the other night when I was playing. Yeah, pretty sure that's what I'm going to do. Alright, let me check the loadout. Okay, let's do it. So we got a tank and a bruiser, and I believe Varian, unless they changed him, before he used to be multi-spec, but I think they got rid of it because it didn't make any sense. Now he's a bruiser, he can like, sort of do everything. He can sort of do damage, he can sort of tank, but not as effective as pure damage, pure tank. He's not um, squishy, as you call it. He can get in there and be in skirmishes and get out unscathed, sort of thing, by himself, also. Whereas my, my character is a pure tank, so I want to get in there and purposely take all the damage and just trap people. That's what I want to do. And get hit by everything. Minions, towers, heroes. Doesn't fucking matter. I just need to get the fuck in there. Whereas variants could do hit and run. But he can get close. And then let's see, we also got a... Uh, a support. Or I call it hammer sports because you can annihilate from far. And then we got another bruiser and a, a damage dealer. Yeah, so we got pretty good spread. So again, I'm 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 specking everything to improve my shadow slam and stopping people, as well as going um, lightning sports. Because it's fucking awesome. 
The battle begins shortly. The battle begins. Are you ready? Without delay. Because I'm a tank, I want to go in the middle. That way I can help support if I have to run up and down to help the other lanes. Whereas um, Varian may go bottom or down, but he's probably stick with me just because of growth. And wreck face. Three, two, one. Let's the battle begin. Looks like it's doing a full rush in the center, which is also works. That's fine too. I got a kitty in my lap, so hopefully no buns get pressed. We all love kitties. He's good. You have been oh, I died. Slain. Didn't mean to get that close, but that's good. Sit down! Shit. My kitty needs to learn to sit or get off the pot. He can just sit in my lap over <laughs> get down. He's just sort of like standing in my lap. He's so funny. He's so funny! Right. We're still ahead on um, leveling, so it's and we and we and they don't have any pressure on our tower. So even though I died, we're still ahead. So it's, it's fine. It's all right. I definitely need to get my soul stone up, so I need to not die again. I don't think it wasted my soul stone, because I think I need to actually uh, use soul stone to lose it, but. Choose 
doing good, doing good. Fortunately, I had my soul stone, so I was able to come back very quickly, even though I died. So that was good. Keep the pressure. That's the whole point of that ability. But I think I also have a powered attack if I have a soul stone in my abilities, but the fact that I can quickly re-engage is pretty cool. I must take a short reprieve. Your enemies All I can do is no have not enough, not enough life. Back in there. But it's better to retreat than die, worst case scenario, because come back immediately versus waiting like 20, 30 seconds, you know. We're already at level 13, they still don't even have their heroic yet, so it's like a huge advantage. And they have no towers. Enemy defeated. <laughs> well done. Keep Full salt in one area. You just stuck with it. Victory. Oh, 
MVP. I type sort half the damage. That's fucking crazy. But that's the idea, I'm the tank. Like I if I'm not in there getting close to death, then I'm not doing my job. So It's fun because you always keep get in the thick of it. Cool. And my kitty left my lap, he's now sitting on my table, but he's sitting behind my computer so that he can just absorb the heat. Probably not best for my computer, but it's like a butt oven for my kitty. He likes the butt oven. Yeah, because like if I just play hour and hour and a half, that's only a few matches, so I'll definitely stay with the album. That way I can stick with it and keep practicing timing. So, definitely stuck with Diablo. I still got a little kitty right here. A little kitty kitty. Oh, right. This is a fun one. I keep forgetting his name. The Punishers. I love that. This is like... I would say it's probably my favorite one just because when he comes out, how he talks and just assaults, it's just so... terrifying. So cool. Just rip open in the in time and space and just leap out and roar. So cool. It's all for that reason why I added boss characters to my board game Elemancers, just because, god, just having a boss character that you play with or fight, it's just fucking fun, man. It's so cool. This is gonna be fun. Definitely gonna prioritize getting the Punishers and not going for Towers, just because they are so cool. Plus, I can practice fighting one, too. Fighting the Angel, I mean. Because they got rotations and timing shit like like doing a raid. The battle begins in ten seconds. Wow, look at that missile boat. That's cool. Five, four, three, two, one. Two arms. Diablo is in the mix. He's in the mix. He's in the mix. Idea, get some more health, get the fuck back in there. Get the right idea. I probably should have done throw first and then push. I just wanted to get him out of the commission quickly.
don't need more health. And I don't believe we have a healer. We have tanks, bruisers, DPS. We have healer. So this is good. That's why I'm at full health before the Punisher thing starts. So this is good. I do have to get out south, though, because they have a uh, boss that they summon down south. Or an elite, not a boss. I, I, I want to make sure it doesn't hit the tower. So. That's why the, the whole team is coming north from as they're going after the tower. The first shrine will be active soon. Steal yourselves, heroes. Well, I'll make a place for the next the, the next uh, shrine. Also. the shrine, defeat its guardians, and the Punisher will be ours. <laughs> oh man, this is a cluster of the fuck. Got one. Double kill. <laughs> that looked kind of scary because it was like a full bone bash. Team against team, but we did good. Definitely got the form, so. Yeah, Punisher. The Punisher. Nothing else I can do. Get more health, get in there. Because then we're doing the push. If I die, they can do soul stone. Killing spree. Plus now I have full mana. That's cool. Looks like we took out two towers in that one push. So I'm just gonna go through the middle to help defend our tower. Them, so I stopped that elite before they got did a lot of damage. That worked. Choose a talent. Is good. A shrine gathers power. Prepare to activate. 
Your spirit is strong. Fuck yeah, man, I'm doing great defending this. Fucking doing great. Now I'm gonna try. Now I'm gonna get up north to help that. Because they were four manning, so I didn't need help down there. But I was like one manning, like practically their entire enemy party on me. So I was using the powers of offense. That's great. The Punisher upon our foe. rabbit right there. If that was ours, that was amazing. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, right. That's Rebel kill. Choose a talent. Impressive. Good to follow you. Mayhem. How you rock face. That was awesome. I was soloing defending our tower. That was dope. Look at all these fat loot. Victory. Mm. MVP. One third damage, probably one half absorption, four kills, ten assists. I probably got 50% damage absorption if I had guessed it. Wow, 12 killing spree. That's killing spree 12 here as well. Wow. Variant. Killing it. Literally. Ooh, and Dahaka did 30% team structure. Yeah, he was going off the towers, whereas I was more just and um, absorbing the heroes. That was fun.
I fucking love lightning in this guy too. That was like one of my favorite special moves I've ever seen in any video game is Diablo's lightning attack from like even Diablo 1. It was so terrifying. It was like the second most terrifying thing even in that game. First was the Butcher and everything, and the second was Diablo's lightning attack. It was like instant death. Crazy. Some fun shit. I love this look. It's got that xenomorph coloring, but it's got the uh, female Diablo, the Leah Diablo. Yeah, man, it was fun, John. Catch you next time. I'll probably just go play a couple more games anyway. It's not going to be solo, but I've been co-op, so like, in case you haven't noticed, it's playing with other human, other humans, yeah. You're playing with other players, but you're fighting the, the AI. So what's cool is it's a good stepping stone before you start fighting other players, is you can really master how to play your hero and your class you want to play as, while doing team synergy with your team, before you get into head in head on head play which is like the next level of because you know players are going to do some ad hoc stuff that you're not that the computer's probably not going to do either aggressive or defensively let me check the stream real quick all right no uh nothing unusual cool let's get back to it let me check if my computer's getting really fucking hot which is, oh, it's probably, maybe it's when my cat was behind my computer. Because I have a fan on, but the bottom is really fucking hot. Um, hold on a second. I just want to, uh, put a, I'll just put a blue ice under my computer just for, like, 60 seconds. Just to cut the, the, the heat. One sec. actually a, a really effective thing to do because it cools it really fast and the water will actually drip onto my fan because it's going to drip down not up. You know the evaporation is going to go up but it's going to drip down because the bottom is so cold. So it's an effective way just to flash cut the heat. Like you don't want to keep it on there because you don't want anything to melt or or to get you know frozen on your computer but it's a good way just to cut that when it gets really fucking hot. So just give me 60 seconds to do this. You basically want your computer, like it's okay if it's warm, but it shouldn't be hot to the touch. So I'm just gonna cut it so it's not hot, but it's still warm. That way the fan can catch up. But I'm sure one reason why it is also getting hot is because even though I have an Alienware computer, my computer is probably like five years old. So it, uh, you know, the old graphics card and processor is probably working hard to keep this game and stream running at the same time. That's 30 more seconds. I mean, the female Diablo is always sick to look at. I mean, I'd marry Diablo in a heartbeat. As long as she doesn't like eat me or kill me. I suppose she could take my soul if I could be with her. That'd be cool. <laughs> Naturally my cat sees my computer movies like, oh wow, can I get the heat some more? No. I think he may be part of the problem. Now he's attacking my hand. Because he does not approve. Okay, definitely better. Still a little hot in the very, very center, but before the whole bottom was like inferno. That's a lot better. Cool. Let's see. 
as effective. And I'll probably do it again after the stream as well, just to save the computer. Alright, so let's jump back in. Let me see if there's any cool skin I want to change right quick, actually. I can't do another map because she just runs around and does these awesome. Default announcer, you have failed. Okay. Ooh, they're playing the Diablo music. That's, that's right. That's how we do. Alright, so we got a lot of DPS and a lot of tanks. But no heals. But we got people that can take hits and guns in the back. Cool, we're, we're going to be seeing some Zerg action. Got a, Oh no, Warhead action, not Zerg. Releasing Warheads. I like the one that you, you're you trying to break the Zerg out of the cells and you see the horde. It's like, oh my god! The zombies are loose. But this one's cool because you get toys to play with. You can start firing nukes. Especially if, like, we can cl collect the majority of them. It's just everyone can get a nuke to play with. Wow, this guy is 1,998. Fuck. He's been playing since the beginning. Non-stop. Oh yeah, you can tell he's got a boost. You see that green lightning bolt. I thought about doing it, but really it's just only worth it if you're playing consistently. Which maybe I'll start doing now since I'm uh, sticking with the character, but even just playing like once a week kind of isn't worth it in my opinion. But if you're playing like every day it is. Time remaining. Ten. Seconds. The reason I'm going south is because since you got DPS, Five, they want that four, sight to three, see. Two, but one. because there's no sight down south, combat. then you're very no, vulnerable to surprise attack, whereas I can like survive it. <laughs> weak little DPS can't. That's sort of my thinking on it. If I slammed him against the wall, I would have had him. I, I was out of position. I mean, I was in the right spot next to him, but I was on the wrong side of him, so that's why I can't slam him to the wall. If I slam him to the wall, then he always gets stunned, gets more free hits him, you know? That's saying if I time it correctly, I can, sl I can stun somebody and force them to take all of my uh, fire stomp also. Kitty's stalking my computer, but if he jumps, I'm gonna push him off as much as I don't want to because he's gonna heat up my computer. As cute as he is, he's gonna heat up my computer. Deployment. 
deployment complete. The warheads are ready for collection. Eternal Flames. I think I want to do Diabolical di Momentum, actually. That way I can do my abilities more often, since that's the sort of thing I want to do, especially my throws. Uh, let me backtrack. There's some, like, shit going on back here. Plus, I can throw him at the tower. Fighter sounds negative. No, I'm returning to base camp. I think we could use some mercenaries on our side. Like if I throw it and then I grab somebody and then I push, oh, then I can run backwards and, run, and make Countdown them hit it. Sort of I should have enough time to run back and heal. It's like a 20 seconds.
You have destroyed a fort. Yeah, buddy. Give me those forts. You have eliminated a key. Stunned in. And die. I was close. But my hellfire came back and just ooh, ripped off that guy. Stacked his butthole. Got Thank him. you. MVP. One third soaked. That's pretty good. Pretty good. She did a lot of damage with warheads. Yeah, I'll give her a point. Let's be, you know, be the team player, going after the objectives. I didn't suck as much, only because when you get those objectives, you just nuke. As opposed to nuking heroes, like Punisher, it's sort of split. That is just nuking. Um, towers. And, and that's what does the most damage against me, me absorbing his tower hits. Oh, cool. Well, let me check uh, the stream. Stream's looking good. And uh, I'll play one more game. Get some more Diablo practice. So, like, really the thing to like to... I'm trying to be better at is the timing of when you do the Hellfire and where you position at the time of doing the Hellfire in conjunction with when I trap somebody either with a throw or a, or a slam or a dash into the wall because I want to get all of the flames to hit my target. So like if you lead where you think someone's going to do, go and I get on the opposite side, all of the flames are going to hit. And that's, that's what I'm practicing is when do I throw, when do I ram, when do I flame. I tend to always throw and then push that way, I can get him towards the wall, and then I push him into the wall. Um, but sometimes, if enemies trying to get away, it's good to dash to them, and then throw behind you to at least to slow him down for a split second for your enemy for your team to catch up and pound them. But mostly the former. the The flame you just always want to have hit as many targets as possible. And that's what I mean, like, if I can stun correctly, and, like, put out the flame and then nearly stun, and then run, while you stun, then get on the other side, and then all the flames will hit by the time they retract. Man, there's so many crazy skins, I don't even know who these heroes are, because it looks so crazy. Um, Ragar, that's, that's a, we got two healers. Okay, so there's definitely going to be a healer on me, so I definitely need to be in everyone's face, because especially if the healer's on me, I'm going to be up forever. Forever. Can you cool. hear it? The end of the alliance. Um. Great. It's you. So we'll see where the healer goes. I'll just go in the middle, that way I can support every lane, possibly. This fight begins in 10 seconds. 
Oh, I see. If I have Five, more souls, I have four, more maximum health. Three, That's what it is. Two, and then I can resurrect. One. So I definitely want to be at full soul stone and actually not die. Because then I have what well, looks like, if I read correctly, 100% more health. Which is pretty legit. I got the kill. I, I trapped them with my party so I got the kill. Because they can run behind the tower, so that was good. That was good. Because we're getting, some, getting pressure. And it's at the very beginning of the game. If that was later, that'd be kind of stupid, but this helped to get the pressure, so we're one tower ahead. Which is not that much head on experience, it's because we had heroes die. Right now, you know, it's tight level wise, but we have skill position, so. Okay, so now I seriously need to stop dying because I need to get my souls. Can't fall behind on the experience. Demolish their fortifications. I'll get out. The spirits tell me that our raiders are being held captive by the Alliance. We must liberate them. Choose a talent. Seems we've both taken prisoners. Keep an eye on ours while you capture the Alliance's prisoners. I need to get a little bit more health and mana, and then run to the objective. Let's 
camp is ours. Lead our raiders to victory. A fine kill. Choose a task. Whew, man, this stuff's getting crazy. Face the strength of the whole. I don't want to reset stomp yet. I want to reduce cooldowns. For sure. We got two towers. I'm gonna, well, I need to It would take thing. more than that to stop the Frostwolf clan. So I think everything goes good because I got maximum impact and I can quickly re engage, go to the next tower. So I just want to now stay at the next soul stone. Choose a tower. Got some good defenses, got some pressure on two towers. I will help pressure center as request. These alliance dogs seek to keep our warriors under lock and key. Do not let this go unanswered. Thank you. They're no match for our 
foul strength. Push forward. Use a talent. Now for the rest of the Alliance. Double kill. You've been training. For the whole Killing spree. Got that soakage. Still got that soakage. Epic. Yeah, I was hoping I'd level up. Buzz out. Get that sweet, sweet loot. Hopefully, we get some good to uh, finish off the night. Looks like a Halloween loot, which is cool. This is the first one I got. Cool. Oh, Scarlet Heist. I just care about it. looks Halloween. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. The spray is what you put on the ground, I think. You put it somewhere. Kills, kill through Zod. All right. Sure. Cool. Wait, did I get another one? No. Cool. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. That was some fun Diablos action um got some good practice in tactics as far as like i said as far as timing for the throws and when to do even the lightning because you know you don't, you want to get to max you want to hit as many targets as possible sort of thing so that was a lot of fun um i think next time i may focus on another hero or may do diablo i'll see this depends um and if i feel um square then even jump into um player player versus player um, let's see, what is today? Today's Wednesday. So, there won't be a Heroes of the Storm stream next week, because I will be flying out to Wisconsin to attend um, Gamehole Con at Madison, Wisconsin, uh, next week. That uh, Halloween weekend, to um, demo the beta build of Elemancers. So we're really excited about that. So because I'll be out there showing the game and seeing family, um, I'm not going to be able to stream next Wednesday. But the following week, there will be Heroes of the Storm action. Um, the next stream is going to be this Friday, 7 p.m. PST, and that's going to be some more, to keep with the theme, uh, Diablo 3. And for that, I'm going to push doing Tier 9 and even make higher Tier 9 or maybe even Tier 10 rifts and greater rifts so if you want to see some hardcore uh 
Witch Doctor action? Definitely tune in then. Fight the forces of Diablo. But can I just join Diablo? Because she's cool. Anywho, thanks for watching, everybody. Again, this is Morda. I'll catch you on the flip side.